Hi folks, welcome back to the Restoration Couple. Before we jump into the cladding in the next episode, I'm going to show you today how I scribed the wall. So before we could make a start on the cladding, I needed to install a trim piece against our old stone wall. So there's a few ways to do this, but the easiest thing to do to start with is to cut a bit of an angle on the side you're going to be using to butt up against the wall. That means you're going to be taking less material away and it's a lot easier to work with. So I held it up in place, made sure it was plumb and also an equal distance from the adjacent trim piece on the left hand side, the other end of the cladding. Once I'd managed to pick the washer up, this is just a normal tile backerboard washer that you could use anything really and it's a way of just following the contours of that stonework and tracing it onto the wood. This is the simplest way of scribing. You can use all sorts of jigs and tools for the job or even a compass if it's a lot more fiddly and fine. Then I just used a, an upturned jigsaw. That would reduce the tear out on the front side So this is the first fit and I'm not looking for an absolutely snug fit because this is external I don't mind a little gap I don't really want to trap any moisture in there after a test fit it looked like I needed to just remove a little bit more of the material behind of our scribe cut that's just because it's a thickish piece of wood and the stone is very irregular so I'm not actually changing our scribe line at this point I'm just taking away a little bit of the timber from behind by cutting it on an angle. Some would use a grinder for this or maybe just a coping saw to take away any bits that were fouling on the stone. I then drilled and plugged some holes just so we'd be able to sand them smooth once everything was in place. This is a really easy way to go and much better to spend the extra half an hour doing this than chasing out the stonework which is something that can't be undone in the future and also it just means it's a lot tidier fit than trying to point it up with some mortar afterwards. And then nailed in our last vertical batten ready to install the cladding. Now the cladding video will be out on Saturday so stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe, but remember if you can, do it yourself. We'll see you next time.